the color of your period blood is telling you something. Today we are going to understand what each color means from bright red to brown to black. Hello guys, this is the Fertility Series with Dr. Raisha and in this video we are going to talk about the different period blood colors and what they mean and the myths surrounding the period blood colors. I am sure most of you have noticed that at the beginning of your period, you notice very light bleeding, maybe a spot of blood, and the color of this blood could be pink or brown. And this notifies you like, you know what? It's like it's telling you, guess who's here? And as your flow increases, you notice that the blood is red, and three to four days in, the flow starts reducing, and you notice the blood becomes brown, and there are big chunks of clots, and towards the end, the blood is very little, and it starts becoming black in color. So from this, you can pick that the blood is not always red in color. Let's discuss the different colors of your period blood and what they mean. The images that you're seeing here are not real human blood. I really had to get creative to bring some of these colors to life. So don't just get, uh, but period blood is not, it's not disgusting, right? Let's start with color pink. It is common to notice pink blood towards the beginning of your period. Pink period blood is usually associated with light flow. This means that the flow is so light and that the blood has mixed up with cervical mucus and vaginal fluids and has been diluted. Pink blood could also be caused by low estrogen levels. When the levels of estrogen are low, your periods become lighter and hence the blood is more diluted. So actually, low estrogen levels do not necessarily make the blood pink. They just make the blood light. Hence the blood is more diluted and hence it is pink. What about brown color? Towards the end of your period, the blood flow has reduced. So the blood is taking much more time to move from the uterus to the vagina and to the outside. So this blood mixes with oxygen, changing its color from red to brown. Have you noticed that when you're on your periods and you're just laying down and then you stand, you feel like the blood is pouring, especially in the first days when the flow is so heavy and you fear, you know, I, am, I, I might just mess myself. This is because when you lie down, blood is not flowing and so it pulls or collects inside the vagina. And while it is inside the vagina, it gets oxidized, hence the brown color. What about black color? Sometimes you may notice black period blood. Towards the end of your period and the blood flow has reduced a lot, you may notice black clots or blackish blood. This is old blood. By old, I am not saying blood from your last cycle. I mean blood that has taken time to be expelled from the uterus and has been oxidized to black. And most of the time, this blood comes in forms of clot because it has changed its form from liquid state to jelly-like. Or it is the lining of the uterus that is being shed and it is coming out in these huge chunks or clots. And when you try to squeeze it, you will actually notice that on the inside, it is actually not black, but it is dark red. Other times, the blood is red, but by the time you go to change your pad, it has already been oxidized and it is black in color. Black period blood could also indicate blockage of the vagina. This could be caused maybe by a tissue or a vaginal septum blocking the vagina and hence reducing blood flow. Hence, now the blood flow collects inside the vagina, but this is accompanied by significant signs such as pain and swelling. What about red color? When do you notice red color? During the first days of your period, blood is just flowing. So the blood flow is steady. It is not collecting inside the uterus or the vagina and hence is not getting mixed up with oxygen. So it is bright red in color. But what are some of the common myths that people have out there about period blood? One very common myth is that every time you see red blood, you are on your period. And that is completely normal. Imagine no. Red blood does not necessarily mean that you are on your period. There are other causes of red vaginal bleeding, such as bleeding due to bruising during sexual intercourse, spotting in between menses, maybe due to ovulation or you are on a contraceptive, ectopic pregnancy or uterine polyps. Another myth is that when you see pink blood, you are pregnant. While pink blood could indicate implantation of the embryo into the uterine wall, something we call implantation bleeding, it could indicate other things such as spotting, light flow, the beginning of your period, or use of a contraceptive. Another myth is that period blood should only be red. Mm -mm. Nope. 
the color depends on the flow and how long the blood has been in the uterus. Another myth is that clots are abnormal. Actually, small clots in the menstrual blood should not be a cause for alarm or a cause for concern. But if they are very large and accompanied by heavy bleeding, then you should see your doctor. And maybe you are not on your periods, but you are noticing these weird vaginal discharge colors. Maybe green, yellow, yellow green, gray, white, white cheesy discharge. Then you need to watch this video.